aim to collect water from two different sources and study pH. Materials required tap water, river water, test tube stand, test tubes, pH paper. Let's proceed with the experiment. Transfer the tap water in the first test tube and the river water in the second test tube. Now take a strip of the pH paper and dip it in the first test tube. Let it dry for some time. Take another pH paper strip and dip it in the other test tube. Let it dry for some time. The color change can be compared with the pH chart. The pH chart has different colors indicating the different pH. So the color of the pH strip can be compared with it and will easily come to know the pH of the water sample. Water pH Aim to collect water from two different water bodies around you and study them for pH. Materials required water samples from two different sites such as river water and tap water, test tubes, test tube stand and pH paper. We can also use the universal indicator. Theory the pH of water is a measure of the acid base equilibrium. In most natural waters, the pH is controlled by the carbon dioxide bicarbonate carbonate equilibrium system. An increased carbon dioxide concentration will therefore lower pH, whereas a decrease will cause the pH to rise. Procedure Take different water samples in different test tubes. Dip a small piece of pH paper in each of the water samples. Let the pH paper dry. Match the color of the pH paper with the color scale given on the pH paper booklet. Observation and result. Record the pH of the different water samples in the observation table. River water has the pH 7 and tap water has the pH 8. Precautions. Take clean and dry test tubes. Dry the pH paper before comparing the color with color scale. Compare the pH accurately with the pH chart. Viva questions. What would be the effect of pollution on the pH of the water body? What determines the pH of a water body? What is the effect of change of pH on the life of organisms living in it.